It's really gone. I, Mamoru Irafun, couldn't bring myself to believe it. My childhood friend, Ijai, passed away. I was so shocked that I couldn't even cry. It was the same as a girl. His daughter was 12, I think. How could you lose your parents at that age? I don't know how upset I would be. Ijai passed away with his wife in an accident. Their only daughter, Miyuna, was left alone. What's going to happen to that girl? She doesn't have any grandparents. She's gotta go to foster care. How about until she finds a home? We can't take her in. Yeah, yeah, there's a cliche chit-chat. I used to always read this happening in mangas and whatnot, but it's pretty horrible to hear in person. I mean, I knew what was gonna... I knew what I was gonna do from before I came to the wedding, though. Miyuna-chan. Mamoru. Oh, you remembered me. I'm glad. Would you like to live with me? Kun? Wait, is he talking about taking her in? Who is that? I don't know, but that works out perfectly. Ahem! Let's go over there. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> don't look like that. Everyone is just shocked at what happened. It's not that they don't like you. Right. So? I don't think I'll be able to replace your dad or mom, but I've got a mom and sister that would love it if you came by. I guess it's a little scary to be adopted by your dad's best friend. I mean, I wouldn't expect her to give me an answer right away anyway. Um... Huh? I don't want to call you dad. <laughs> That's what you were thinking about. Of course not. Your dad is EG only. You can just think of me as a relative or an uncle or something. Scratch that, don't think of me as an uncle. <laughs> oh, I got it to laugh. I want to go to your house then. Okay, we're well, good to have you. Oh my, she's adorable. Her skin is so soft. Uh. <coughs> Sis, don't be so clingy. Yuna-chan doesn't like it. Yeah, yeah. Are you sure you're okay with us taking her in, Mom? She was left behind by E.G., right? Of course she's welcome. Thanks, Mom. The second I found out that E.G. had passed, I had decided that I would take her in if no one else did. I talked to my mom about it, and she respected my decision, so... I ended up moving back home. My sister also came back to help us out. That's how much Ijai was valued in our family. You're bringing your stuff another day, right, Miyuna chan I have some clothes I wore when I was your age, so you can wear that for today. How many decades ago was that? Are you sure they're not moldy? I was using them so you know I kept them clean. That's exactly why I am worried. What did you say? Oh, you two, stop it. <laughs> Miyuna-chan, you're so cute when you smile. Whoa. Can you not tell she doesn't like it when you do that? That's not true. Um, thank you for letting me stay here. I'll do my best to stay out of your hair. Miyuna-chan. <coughs> I cannot believe I'm hearing an elementary school girl say this. All right, that's enough greetings. Let's eat. Good idea. Come on, Miyuna-chan. Yeah. At first, Miyuna-chan seemed to really tip her around, but eventually Miyuna-chan started warming up to us. She was in the school district next to us, but I put in the paperwork to make sure she didn't have to switch schools. When my mom told me that she brought her friends over, I was really happy. I'm home! Welcome home. You're late recently. We just started a new project, so it's been hectic. How's Miyuna-chan? She's fast asleep. Right. Every time I hear her say welcome home, I can feel all the tiredness in my body just evaporating. You're acting just like your dad. <laughs> yeah, you guys would be pissed to hear that. Hey, I want to ask you something. Hmm? I told mom about it already, but have you seen Miyuna chan crying? No, I didn't see her crying at the funeral either. Right? She doesn't talk about her parents either. Maybe we should leave her alone a little longer though. It's pretty tough to face this kind of cruel reality at that age. That's true. She is all over the place. Each eye slept like that too. Is that genetic? Uh... I'm gonna work hard to protect this girl for you, EJ. The days flew by and Miyuna started middle school. I was promoted to a higher position and was at the peak of my business. Then one day... Hey boss, you had something you wanted to talk about? There's talk about you going overseas. What do you think? Huh? We want you to be a startup member in a new venture located in Heibop PP. It's a huge promotion. 
You want me to be the member of a new overseas starter? I was so happy, but... I know what's going on at home. I wish I could tell you to take your time, but I'd like an answer in two weeks. Understood, sir. Overseas, huh? I was interested in working overseas. That's why I started working here in the first place, but my life is different now. What do I do? Mamoru-kun, how long are you going to be in the bathroom? Sorry, I'm coming out. My stomach is kind of feeling upset. <laughs> I helped make dinner tonight. I wonder if that's what made your stomach upset. No, no, that's not it at all. I just ate something weird at work. You helped our mom, huh? Thanks. <laughs> I can't leave this cute girl. I took on a responsibility when I accepted taking her in, so I need to finish this. But I haven't been able to make the call a week after making that decision. Mamoru? Miyuna is worried about you because you seem tired recently. Something happen? You can talk to your big sis. Well... Oh, you should go. Huh? It's not that easy. I haven't told Miyuna-chan yet, but I'm going to get married. Huh? Uh, congratulations! Thanks. So I want to take her in. Huh? My sister says that the reason she hasn't been married for this long is because she's infertile. But someone that she found through a relative accepted her and suggested that they take her in as their own. Then you can go overseas without a care in the world. I mean, yeah, but is Miyuna-chan okay with that person? We need to talk to her first. That's true. I'll be your child. Miyuna-chan! You were listening? I went to the bathroom and I heard you guys talking. I'm sorry for eavesdropping. I see. Sorry for waking you up. Miyuna-chan, you can just go to sleep for now. Let's talk about this later. Yeah. Will you sleep with me tonight, Mamaru-kun? Oh? You want to sleep with Mamaru, not me? <laughs> that laugh is annoying. <laughs> I went to see her fiancé. He was a wonderful person that was probably too good for my sister. She even told me, Yuna-chan, that she didn't need to think of him as a father. What did you think? If your sister likes him, I think I can like him. I guess I'll live with him. You can go overseas and chase your dreams. Don't worry about me. Yuna-chan, I'll send you so much stuff from overseas, okay? Yeah, I'll ask my teacher how to write you letters overseas. I went overseas and Miyuna-chan was taken in by my sister and her fiancé. I was drinking myself to sleep to get over my sadness, so I was on the plane hungover and my co-workers were shaking their heads at me. Time flew by once again. It's been five years since you've come over here. It's already been five years. The whole infection thing has been keeping me from going back home. How about you just live over here permanently? You're almost 40. <laughs> uh, I'm already 40, huh? I guess I'll think about it if I find someone. No! Huh? That voice. I'm not gonna let you get married. Uh, are you... Miyuna? You've already forgotten my face? No, no, you've just grown up. A lot. I saw pictures of her, but I didn't realize she matured this much. <laughs> I'm already 17. It's summer break, so I decided to come visit you. I told them that I was your fiancé and they let me in. They were laughing, though. That's because they knew you were lying. Our security seriously has no sense of, well, security. Mamoru, who is that cute girl? My best friend's child. I'm Mamoru's fiancé. I'm not a child. I'm a grown adult woman. Wow. What are you saying to my co-worker? And I didn't realize that you could talk this language. If I get married to you, I might live over here, so I studied. I'm smart, huh? Yeah, impressive. What'd you say about marriage? I'm sure she's just joking around, but I can't tell. Are you really going to pretend you don't know? No, uh, she's really pressuring me. Whoa! Ow! I'm not letting you go. I'm not going to let you forget about these papers. What are these? If you're going to keep acting like you don't know, I'm going to cry. You gave me these before you went overseas. What? I was eating with everyone and got really drunk and... Wah! I don't want to go! I don't get to watch Miyuna grow up! Mamoru-kun, you're crying too much. I'm going to become a wonderful woman while you work. Great job, Miyuna-chan! Wow, I didn't realize that's what was happening. <laughs> I guess I won't formally adopt you then. Then you can get married to him. M married With Mamoru-kun? I'm not against it. Oh, I have some spare papers for my engagement. We should make him sign them now. Let me go get them. I'm going to write my name on the witness line. 
Come on, Mamoru. Wake up. Hold this pen and write your name. Huh? My name? Here? Those papers? Yeah. We're getting married. No, 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 no! You're my best friend's daughter! We used to play around with Icy Hot together! What's wrong with my fiancé getting along with my dad? But don't cry. Mamoru, I don't know what's going on, but how about you leave early and talk to her about it? You're going to be the guy that makes a beautiful girl cry and have the police called on you. Alright, I'll head out early then. Once we got home, Yuna-chan wouldn't stop about getting married to me. When I signed the papers at first, she was more interested in me as a father, but the more we stayed separated, the more it turned into genuine love. <clears throat> Are you sure you're not just confused? Nope. Even if it is, I'm happy about it, so I'll just leave it that way. You realize I'm an old man. I'm almost 40. I'm almost 18. An adult woman of legal age. Ugh, she's not gonna budge. Miyuna-chan is gonna be here for all of summer and kept flirting with me. When I saw her in an apron, I was honestly moved, but I can't fall for this. I feel so bad for EJ. Ugh, I'm so thirsty. Why's the light on? Miyuna-chan is still up? I glanced inside and saw Miyuna-chan, arm around, arms around her knees, looking at a photo. The person in the photo? It was EJ, his wife, and Miyuna-chan. It's such an old, torn-up photo. She's always had it with her. Dad, Momoru didn't say he liked me. Again. You'll root for me, though, right, guys? You wanted me to meet him, right? Miyuna-chan never brought up anything about her parents. I guess she was talking to them with this photo when neither my sister or myself were watching. Maybe she was crying alone. How did you two fall for each other? I wish I could have asked. I introduced them. Mamoru-kun! Were you listening? Sorry, your mother worked at the same place as I did at one of my part-time jobs. EJ came to eat with me at the job and fell for her, so I introduced them. Oh, I see. So you're their Cupid. I guess so. That's why I can't just say yes to dating you. I knew how much they loved each other, so I want to take great care of their daughter, you know? If you're going to reject me on that basis, then I think I might start disliking Dad. They don't threaten me like that. Not fair. It's not fair. I like you. Ugh. Can you at least give me time? I'm not just denying your feelings. I want to think about it. Adults are so busy. If you answer me before I graduate, I'll be happy. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm going to be going to the college at Ibapi University, by the way. Seriously? Your sis said that I could just live at your house, so she won't be looking for a place to live. Sis, damn it! She really figured out a court. She really figured out how to corner me. I guess I can't get away now. After Mayuna graduated, we put in the marriage papers. I was just able to get back home, so we're going to be living as newlyweds in Japan now. Mayuna walking down the aisle with her father's photo was beautiful. Do you swear to love each other? I swear. I do. I'll love him forever. <laughs> <laughs>